Hey guys, this is Samir for Digit.in and here at MWC we have our first look at the Gioni S8. Uh, the smartphone is uh, priced at about 450 euros, that's about 35,000 uh, rupees directly converted. Uh, the color I have with me right now is uh, the rose gold variant and uh, the smartphone is available in uh, three different colors. You have the rose gold, you have gold and uh, the silver. Now, for those of you, even I mistook this actually to be the fingerprint sensor, but it isn't. This is Gioni's uh, new logo that uh, is uh, present at the back of the smartphone. So, uh, that's Gioni's new logo that's there at the back of the smartphone. Now, getting uh, some of the specifications out of the way, it has a 5.5-inch full HD AMOLED uh, display. It has a 16-megapixel rear camera and 8-megapixel front-facing camera and a 3000 mAh battery powers it. Uh, you have 4 GB of RAM, 16 G, uh, 4 GB of RAM, 64 GB of uh, built-in storage. Uh, it's powered by the MediaTek MT6755 uh, uh, SoC uh, and it uh, supports 4G. Now, uh, just like Apple, uh, the Gioni S8 also supports 3D Touch. So here is a quick look at what that looks like. It's even called 3D Touch and it works just like we've seen 3D Touch work on uh, the iPhone. Uh, Ikanch, I don't think I can drop test the phone here at the event. That's not going to be uh, possible. Um, Nishan, the price is about uh, 449 euros is what they've announced it at and uh, the India price is still not known but directly converted it's about 35,000 rupees. Uh, the camera specifications are a 16 megapixel rear facing camera and an 8 megapixel front facing camera. So yeah, so let's give you a look at uh, the performance of the camera. So the focusing is pretty fast. I did uh, spend a couple of minutes here clicking a few pictures and as you can see at, at a very first glance the camera looks to be really really good. Uh, yeah but uh, even though you're saying it's the, uh, uh, Sovan is saying it's the MTK processor, it's still the Helio uh, P10 which is, uh, which we'd actually really like, like to test it out before we can give a final verdict on how it performs but the camera uh, at first impressions uh, seems to be really good. Uh, you have the fingerprint sensor at uh, the bottom as well. Uh, it has a similar Gioni uh So it's uh, running on uh, Android 6.0 Lollipop and uh, we can just give you a quick look at uh, the operating system right here. It is uh, Android Marshmallow and uh, yeah, so uh, like I said, a cool feature about the phone is uh, the 3D touch. It's the Gioni S8 for those of you that have just uh, joined in. Now at the bottom here we have uh, the fingerprint sensor along with uh, two capacitive uh, buttons. Um, the phone is available in three colors, like I said, rose gold, which is of course again a ripoff of something that Apple started, a normal gold and a uh, silver color as well. Now uh, coming to the camera, there's actually a few unique features uh, that Gioni has uh, talked about. Uh, so we've all seen a lot of smartphones come with the face uh, beauty mode when it comes to clicking pictures, which is fine, but when it comes to videos as well, uh, you have a bunch of modes that you can use in video as well. So you not only have HDR, night, uh, panorama, but you also have the ability to scan a QR code uh, in the video itself, which is actually a very cool feature because uh, let's say you're at a shop picking up something and you want to get more information about the product and if it has a QR code, you can simply scan the QR code uh, using the camera app. It also has a bunch of modes uh, for video itself, uh, which uh, Gioni is talking a lot about. Um, so uh, Sandeep's asking what's the RAM and the ROM? Well, uh, the RAM is 4 GB and it has uh, 64 GB of uh, built-in storage. Uh, so Krishnakant is asking the camera looks good, how's the performance? compared to Snapdragon processor benchmark scores, well, uh, it's not going to be easy for us to actually run a few benchmarks out here. We'll have to wait for the phone to launch in India and get our hands on it where we can actually download and run some benchmarks and uh, show uh, that to you. Is it water resistant? 
Huh? Is the phone water resistant? Water resistant? Waterproof? Oh, waterproof. Yeah, uh, for this? Yeah. No. No. No, no. No. Okay, so uh, guys, the phone is uh, not waterproof in case that was one of the questions that I saw uh, pass by. And um, yeah, so overall the phone is pretty sleek. You have uh, the power button and the volume rocker. Um, yes, uh, it does have uh, the USB uh, type uh, C connector for those of you that are asking. Uh, yes, the price is, uh, Pronic, the price is uh, 449 euros here at the MWC launch and, uh, sorry about that, uh, the price is uh, 449 at uh, launch and it's about 32 to 34,000 rupees directly uh, converted. Uh, now there are a couple of cool features. Uh, what Gioni says is that since this is a dual uh, SIM smartphone, you can actually have up to two WhatsApp accounts running uh, simultaneously on uh, the device, which is again actually something that I haven't seen in the past. Um, as you can see, uh, it's been on out here for quite some time, the phone, and uh, the functionality seems to be pretty smooth. Of course, there are limited preloaded apps out uh, here that we can really show you. So fast charging is another question you guys are asking. I'm just going to reconfirm that. Uh, no, the phone is not water resistant. And uh, does it have expandable storage? Yes, it does. It's a dual SIM smartphone, but one of the SIM card slots uh, acts as a hybrid SIM card slot. So you can either have two SIM cards in it or one SIM card and a micro SD card. The micro SD card support is for up to 128 uh, GB. Uh, is it... Okay, so I don't know, uh, Varshne is asking a question, uh, is it a uh, damage in between? Um, I'm sorry, I don't follow the question, but no, the phone seems to be completely fine uh, in terms of functionality as of uh, right now. But um, yeah, so just to quickly reiterate, yes, it is, uh, uh, it is a Gorilla Glass uh, 4. The Corning Gorilla Glass 4 is uh, protecting the display on the smartphone. For those of you that have uh, just joined in, a quick look at the specifications is that it has a, a full metal body available in three colors. This is the rose gold color. Uh, you have the normal gold and the silver color. It has a 5.5 inch full HD AMOLED display, a 3000 mAh battery, 16 megapixel rear camera, an 8 megapixel front facing camera. Uh, 3D touch is uh, what... Uh, uh, Gioni is uh, touting about the phone. It has a 3000 mAh battery and uh, 4 GB of RAM, 64 GB of uh, built-in storage, the Helio P10 SoC and it is uh, 4G enabled as well. Uh, so the battery life uh, is something that we'll actually put to test uh, when we get the phone in for review but um, the battery backup is something we really can't comment on as of now. Yes, uh, uh, um, uh, Sunij, the phone is imitating Apple even when it comes to the colors or uh, blatantly even calling the technology 3D touch and even the way it reacts as you can see is uh, very simple, uh, very similar to the way we've seen uh, 3D touch react on uh, the iPhone. Uh, so I'm not sure if you can uh, natively disable any uh, bloatware, Krishnakant, but uh, I'm pretty sure you can delete some of the apps that you really don't want on the smartphone. So uh, let's just see if we can okay so 3d touch it seems to be identifying the 3d touch but i can't long press to move apps may take a bit of getting used to but yeah i'm pretty sure you should be able to delete some of the preloaded apps uh, that come um no there is uh, no boast of uh, dolby surround sound or anything like that you just have a speaker at the bottom uh, once again the design is uh, something that's very reminiscent of uh, the iphone so uh, there you have it guys, that was our first look at uh, the Gioni S8. If you have any further questions, you can keep asking. We'll be live for about a minute more with the phone uh, to answer all your questions. Uh, once again, here's a look at how 3D Touch uh, functions. Let's see if it, how many apps actually support it. Okay, so here's how you can move apps around. Um, not all the apps, of course, uh, support uh, 3D Touch. But yeah, the ones that do, it's uh, pretty easy uh, to access it. 
So Vinu is asking uh, how much that, I'm presuming you're asking the price, it's 450 euros, 449 to be precise, that's about 32 to 34,000 rupees uh, directly converted. Uh, you have a fingerprint sensor here at the bottom, again something that's uh, very reminiscent of uh, what we've seen on other uh, smartphones. So yeah, like I said, the fingerprint sensor is uh, right here. <clears throat> Uh, let's see if we can quickly run into the settings and show you how to uh, set up the fingerprint sensor. And well, mm, yeah. So, um, yeah, while touch panel, yeah, here it is. So, I uh, guess you can actually go into the settings and uh, set up the fingerprint uh, sensor. Uh, no Garvit, it's uh, about uh, 32,000 rupees directly converted and we don't think Gioni is going to price this phone extremely high uh, when it comes to India because it will have to be competitively priced to uh, gain a market share. Okay, so what's the ring behind the phone? If uh, uh, Prasan, if you're asking about this ring, it is uh, Gioni's new logo, it's not a fingerprint sensor. Um, also, uh, as you can see, the camera at the back is here, 16 megapixel uh, with the flash. Uh, it has phase detection autofocus as well as uh, laser assisted um, autofocus. So, uh, there you have it. That was our first uh, look at. Uh, yes, uh, uh, Asif, uh, I did ask out here, and apparently the phone does support uh, fast charging. Camera specs is uh, once again. It is 16 megapixel with phase detection autofocus and laser assisted autofocus at the back and an 8 megapixel uh, camera in the front. Whether it's, uh, uh, Siddharth is asking if it's worth 32,000 or not, well that's something we'll comment on once we get in for review. We'd really like to put the phone through its paces on a day-to-day -day basis to see how it works and then we'll comment on whether it's worth the price or not. Aman, the RAM is uh, 4 GB and um, what about the front camera flash? Well, there is uh, no uh, front camera uh, flash. And uh, Ashwat, no, it is not a waterproof. Uh, Mohak, uh, the camera quality seems to be fairly decent as to what we've uh, tested so far on uh, the show floors out here. We'll just give you a quick demo of uh, just a quick photograph of uh, the booth, Gioni booth out here. And the camera is pretty snappy, it's fast, it's responsive. Uh, we'll just take a quick look at the front-facing camera as well. And uh, here we go, that's the front-facing camera. And it's pretty snappy, it's fast, and it seems to be getting the job done right so far. Um, so, Aman's asking, is it a uniform uh, metal body? Yes, it is a full uh, metal body. The battery is not removable. It is a, a uni body design. Santosh, yes, the fingerprint sensor is right here at the bottom. Uh, Bimal, the battery is uh, non-removable. And uh, yeah, so whether you should actually uh, invest in this phone or not is something we will tell you when it uh, launches in uh, India. Some uh, the first uh, wave of launch will happen somewhere around March. Uh, we still have to confirm if India is a part of that or not. So there you have it, guys. That was our first look at uh, the Gioni S8. Well, it is uh, borrowing from the best, which is the iPhone, especially where uh, the colors are concerned and some cool technologies like 3D touch. Stay tuned to Digit.in as we will be bringing you a lot more information from the show floors uh, from the Mobile World uh, Conference, Mobile World Congress here in uh, Barcelona. And uh, log on to Digit.in slash MWC to check out all the other happening information from Mobile World Congress.